اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم How to report mediation analysis results In this session I'm going to talk about how to report mediation analysis results Now what are the ingredients that you need to report mediation analysis The first and foremost we need to identify whether the indirect effect that is the impact of IV on DV through the mediating variable is significant or not The next thing that we need to know is the total effect the impact of iv on dv without the involvement of the mediator direct effect the impact of iv on dv in presence of the mediator represented by c complement and the next thing that we need to know is what is the type of mediation whether it is full or partial now what is full mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor that is iv exerts its total influence via the mediating variable and that your direct effect is insignificant so what is partial mediation this form of mediation exists if the predictor variable iv exerts some of its influence via the mediator however it also exerts some of the influence directly on the outcome that is your dependent variable and not via the mediating variable that is both your direct and indirect paths are significant now once you know the indirect effect the total effect the direct effect the type of mediation it's very easy to report the results now if you're not sure how to perform mediation or if you're not sure what is indirect effect or what are all these effects you need to go back and study mediation the video on how to perform mediation analysis using both smart pls and amos will be shared in the description the objective of this video is just to help you how to report mediation now once you've got this information the next step is mediation analysis you just put it in your research paper as a separate heading this is what i prefer although you can put it with other hypothesis results as well so i've numbered it h1 and in this case this is the model that i am going to test team identity mediates the relationship between csr and op i've already estimated the model and i've already got the results now we have to go back and let's see the first thing is your hypothesis in this case team identity mediates the relationship between corporate social responsibility and organizational performance so you have presented your hypothesis now we are going to present our results mediation analysis was performed to assess the mediating role of team identity in the relationship between csr and op so the first thing that you need to do is describe your hypothesis the next thing the results so it is very important that the table that summarizes your results must be referred to in your description of the hypothesis or analysis The results C table 1 revealed a significant indirect effect so the first thing that you report is the indirect effect mediation results and what were the results h1 your beta value your t value and your p value where are these results in smart pls specific indirect effects these are the results here original sample t statistics p value and they are reported here the total effect of csr on op was also significant where is this total effect have a look here total effects csr and op from iv to dv this is your total effect that is the sum of direct and indirect effect and in this case the total effect was this now when you included the mediator in the relationship the direct effect was still significant this means that some of the influence of csr on op was passing through this path here from csr to ti to op whereas some of the effect is passing directly from csr to op so both these paths here this path here and this path here are significant so when both direct effect that is the effect in presence of the mediator and the indirect effect when both are significant this means partial mediation This shows that team identity partially mediates the relationship between CSR and OP hence 
H1 was supported. And in the brackets, you can see the results here. And where do you get these results? You get these results here. Where is your direct effect? Path coefficients is your direct effect. Direct effect of CSR on OP is this in presence of the mediator. Now, how do you present this in the table? Here is the table. The first thing that you need to do is present your total effects. That is CSR and OP without the presence of the mediator. Then you present your direct effects. Then you present your indirect effects hypothesis, CSR to TI to OP, your coefficient, your SE, standard error, your T value, your P value, and your percentile bootstrap 95% confidence interval. Here are the full forms. Now where is this percentile bootstrap? So if you go here, specific indirect effects, confidence interval bias corrected. Here is your confidence interval bias corrected. This is 0 0.202, 0 0.351. So you just report it here. This is how you report your mediation analysis results from Smart PLS. Even if you're using AMOS, you can use the same approach. Now here is a model, although not the same variables, but it doesn't matter. If you go here and the video on how to perform mediation analysis using AMOS will be shared. If you look here in the matrices within the estimates, you have got total effects. You've got your direct effect. Look at this. This is your IV. This is your DV. So the effect of IV on DV is 0.197. This is your direct effect. Now, where is your total effect? Here it is. If you click here, total effect, make sure estimates are selected because we are looking at the estimates. This is your total effect from your IV to your DV. This is your total effect. And where is your indirect effect? The total Direct and indirect effect. Now here is a description as well. So you can look into that as well. Now here is your indirect effect. That is the impact of IV on DV through the mediator. That is self-efficacy, which is your mediating variable. So this is the estimate. What is the estimate? Here, this is the beta value. So your indirect effect, in this case 0 0.270, for this model the indirect effect is 0.268 because the variables are different. Now, where are the p-values? If you look here, click here, two-tailed bias corrected. Here is your p-value. And if you want standard errors, here are your standard errors. So you can get t-values by simply dividing the estimates by your standard error, and you will get your t-value that you can report here. Now, again, because this is might be confusing for a few students, Click indirect effects, this will give you and estimates and this will give you estimates. The, the fun part in Smart PLS is that you get all of it in one window. The specific indirect effects, here all here are they. With the estimate, with the estimate, the T statistics, the p-value. Here everything is separate. Here is your estimate. Indirect effect and its estimate. Indirect effect selected and its bootstrap standard error is this. Now, indirect effect selected and its p-value is this. You want to calculate the t-statistic, again, go to standard error, get this 0 0.041, and here is your estimate. So 0.268 divided by 0 0.041 will give you the t-value for this indirect effect. So this is how you can report mediation results from either Smart PLS or Imos. Thank you very much.